Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a haul. I'm very excited. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe during quarantine. I know it's not easy for a lot of you. Um, my heart goes out to anyone who's suffering. I am home. I have a lot of free time. Um, I haven't been able to do anything because I've had a collision on my right eye which took a month to, to go down and it's still healed a little bit. It's I think by the end of this week it should be gone which I am very excited about because it's been keeping me from doing what I love more. I mean what I love um, which is blogging, creating content for you guys and with you guys. But now I am back. So like I said I've never had this much time before to browse online to shop because I I don't know I feel like a machine so I'm, I was always working always out um, doing things now that I am home not doing anything I'm not really spending money like I used to because I used to Uber everywhere and always out eating I feel like you know a lot of my budget went to that so I never really like you know was into shopping that much unless I needed something but now since I'm at home, I don't know, it really got me thinking about all the things that I want to be wearing, where I want to go to go to the Amalfi Coast. It's one of my it's one of my dream trip. I cannot wait to go there. I can't wait to go to Positano and all that stuff. So I have been planning all the things that I want to be wearing on this trip, um, which is probably going to be next year. I don't think I want to take any trip this year, obviously with everything going on even when outside opens again I don't think I want to travel I think I want to just enjoy New York City and just enjoy every corner um, maybe the only place I'll go is to like the Hamptons like once a month in the summertime or go there for weekends and just relax um, yeah I don't really plan on traveling anywhere I just want to be in New York City but 2021 I'm sure that's when things will really go back to normal then I can go and start doing all the trips that I wanted to do. So the little update is this whole time whilst being in quarantine I've come to realization with a lot of things like fashion and stuff. I feel like I've been like I said in my previous video things that I'm no longer wearing in 2020 um, I've just been keeping it safe all those years um really to like one color scheme which worked for me for that period of time i think it was necessary for that period of my life because i've just been so busy doing so much things like fashion was the last thing on my list i know what list i know i wanted to look good which is why i went with a color that you know that guarantee me um looking you know chic all the time so I don't regret it, but now for everything going on, I was like, you know what? I just want to live my life and just be happy and and do what I want. I don't want to do this whole neutral things. I mean, I'm still going to do neutral. I'm not gonna go crazy with color, uh, but at the same time, I think now I am really, really getting in the groove of things. I feel like being girly and feminine. Like I said, it's one of the area that I am going to be focusing on a lot when it comes to fashion. I've never really taken advantage. Typically, I'm always in pants. Like I told you guys, last year was the first time I started wearing dresses. And then now I am hooked. I don't ever want to wear pants anymore. I just want to be wearing dresses all the time now. Um, so yeah, I think I'm finding my group of things again. So this haul is the ultimate girly feminine haul because a lot of the things I think are super girly and cute and feminine. Um, not to say that I'm going to be dressing like a 15 year old. I don't know. Maybe I am because when I was 15 I never really got the chance to enjoy my being a girl, being my girliness and wear dresses and all that stuff because I used to, because I got them when I was 13 so I've always been wearing, since then I was wearing clothes that were like oversized uh, because I wanted to like, you know, had my body all those years so I never really wore clothes that to really show that side of me. I think now I am going to be taking advantage. I don't care how old I am, if I look like I'm 12, 
I'm just going to be the ultimate girly feminine girl like I am totally doing it I think my goal for the summer is to wear about 95% of dresses and then 5% maybe pants here and there so yeah why don't we go ahead and get into this haul. First thing first, let's address the elephant in the room, which is this hat. So if you guys know Jacques Moose had this hat, it's called the Santon, S-A-N-T-O-N, sold it out. I should have bought it like at the beginning of the year, January. Um, they still had it. Almost bought it, didn't, but that's okay because now I found this one. It's from Elia Poo. I don't know how you say it, but I will live it. It's a Spanish brand from uh, Spain, and they make these beautiful large hats. You guys know I am into hat. I am a mad hatter. I've been wearing hats since I don't know when. There was a time I wore hats literally 365 days a year. Um, that's how much I love hats. I just think it just changes your outfit. And I've been wanting a big one that was very good quality, and I think I've hit the jackpot with this one. I love this hat so much. It just came the other day, so it's still taking its shape a little bit. I ordered this for Matches Fashion. This is my first order ever for Matches Fashion. I've kind of like been sleeping on them. I need to be exploring them a lot more. And this is the back of the hat. This thing is very, very long, so you can go like this. I already know how I'm going to style it going to be so cute it's good it's giving me kind of like Amish vibes <laughs> but I just love it look at this hat oh it's so pretty so this is this hat this is going to be the hat of the summer the the piece of resistance so that's about all I would say for this hat I also got another hat from Lack of Color. This is the hat that I meant to order for my trip to Miami at the beginning of the year. It was this one, um, but it finally came, and I love this one so much. Look at this. What I love about this hat is because the holes are a little big, and I kind of like love this color too. And the thing is, when you wear this in the sun, the sun kind of like reflects in your face. It just makes it look so cool, so beautiful. So I cannot wait to wear this hat in the summertime. So this, I took a size large. This is from Lack of Color. Um, I'm a medium, but I just go for the large because I want it to be comfortable. So I go for the large. The other one is one size, and it fits in my head perfectly. It's a little bit tiny big, but it has a tiny elastic around it so if you want to secure it you can do that as well the next thing is this little bag from mango this is kind of like a dupe for one of the Bottega bags I don't think I would ever spend that much money actually let me not say anything because I always say that and the next thing you know I ended up buying it but the thing is I know it's like a trendy piece I don't really like spending money on like trendy pieces or like things that I know years to come that I can buy but when I saw this bag, it was only $29, and also I think it was like the perfect, perfect little date night bag, and I have worn this on a few date nights before, you know, things are crazy. Um, I love this bag so much. It holds so much. I also think, because it's kind of like this buttery color, kind of like a little yellowish, it's so perfect. It goes with all a lot of my outfits, and also my Chanel mules. It's so hard to find like a bag that matches them perfectly and they go really really well with my Chanel Pearl Mules. So I'm very very happy about this. This is from Mango. I hope they have it. If they do, I will link it below. So now I have been home. I've been doing my own manicure and I went to buy my favorite perfume which is the Maison Francis Grand Soir in the back of that. I went out of this one so I went to blooming dolls to buy this and then they had a promotion where if you so they have this promotion where if you purchase something for like three hundred dollars you get fifty dollars off so it's three, three i think it was three hundred i don't remember but i had to add something for an extra 25 bucks so i just walked over to the chanel counter and got this um 
nail polish and it's like the prettiest thing ever it's called ballerina it's just kind of like dusty pink but when i put it on my nails my nails are not done right now because i'm giving them a break because i've been washing them so much but it's like the perfect it's actually the same color as i used to do for my gel which i'm very very happy about so if you guys are looking for a neutral nail polish to do at home i highly highly recommend the chanel ballerina this is my favorite one i'm going to be adding more to my collection but i know i'm probably gonna be wearing this one all the time and then like i mentioned this is my favorite one to to wear i mix it with the back of that i'm telling you guys if you get these two perfumes like everyone will literally like run to you and will bring all the boys to the yard because no man can resist the smell of this perfume like every time you would wear it they would always want to like sniff you not all men just like everyone in general like i'm telling you i get stopped so many times um to be asked what perfume i'm wearing and it's always crosswire by maison francis and baccarat if i could recommend between the two of them i would say go with the baccarat 540 instead of this one um but if you like would see this is it so i like to mix them together to have something a little bit more unique but if you have to buy just one i would say go for baccarat instead because that one is so sweet so nice love it and you guys know i spent my birthday in quarantine um my birthday was april 1st i know i'm a fool for <laughs> being born on april fool's day but um yeah it was perfect because typically i don't like doing things on my actual birthday i always reserve my actual birthday to myself to really just kind of like reflect on my life to see what i want to accomplish in the new year and kind of like be thankful to have for what i've come what i've accomplished so far so quarantine was kind of like the perfect thing anyways because typically i don't like to see anyone on my birthday i see it as me day so I like to spend it with myself because I'm very selfish. Um, <laughs> so it was perfect. But I wanted to show you my birthday dress. I got this. The Significant Other is my favorite favorite brand right now. It's an Aussie brand. And you can find them on Intermix, Moda Operandi. I ordered this from Intermix. They sent me a coupon for my birthday. They make the best linen dresses and their linen is very it's like the best quality linen it's a heavy linen but at the same time it's very light it's not gonna keep you like too hot or anything this is a perfect kind of like summer dress or day night dress i really love this kind of like long ruching at the beginning and it also has this gold detail here of course i'm gonna try everything on so you can see it i'll insert the picture that i took on my birthday and i am a size us4 australian 8 for them i love this dress so much this is called the zahara dress like the desert um i really really love it very very good quality really really love it it's my favorite brand at the moment i'm just obsessed with everything they make to be quite honest another thing that i've been wanting are a pair of white or oatmeal linen shorts and they make the best linen shorts as well this one i missed out on my size so i ended up going a size bigger uh six they're a little bit too big but i think because they're short i can get away with them these shorts are like so beautiful and also they are like such such good quality and they're like the perfect perfect shape i love them so much it's the same fabric the same linen fabric as my dress i love these shorts so much if i ever find them they're sold out in a size four but if i do find them in a size four i will probably go ahead and order them anyways it doesn't hurt to have two pair of these i think in the summertime i don't really I don't like to wear shorts but I think when I go on vacation at night sometimes if you just stay in the hotel or like to like eat I think it's cute to have some nice linen shorts to just wear or if it's a really really hot day where you don't feel like putting a dress on you can just put on a nice pair of shorts I think these would be perfect perfect for that I think this is super super chic again same brand significant other these just came yesterday I got these from Moda Operandi um, I think it was sold out by now, but you can still find it from their website. 
Uh, they do ship to the U.S. for free or if you buy a certain amount. The only thing is when you buy it on the U.S. website, is a lot cheaper. It's about $20 cheaper. These on Moda Operandi were $155 and they have 30% off going on right now. So I ended up paying $120 for these. But um, I think with like shipping. But if you buy it on the Australian website, I think it's about 170 bucks also. So that's the only thing to keep in mind. If you really want any of these bear pieces, try to buy it as soon as they come out because they sell really, really fast because they suffer. Honestly, very, very amazing. I love everything they make. Let's know that Jacquemus dress is called a Baja, Baja. I don't know. I don't know how you say it, but it's that famous Jacquemus shirt dress um, with the deep v-neck. It looks so good on everyone. And I actually pre-ordered it on Muda Operandi, but I think I ended up canceling my order. The dupe on Choosy. Choosy, I think, has the best dupe for that Jacquemus dress. And this was only $30. And also, they had a sample sale. At the office in Soho actually that Friday before lockdown Vanessa drove down so she picked me up from work and then we drove to Soho and they had the sample sale everything was like $10 so we went in there oh my god we got so many things like this top is also from them which is being featured in this haul I just love this top it's so so cute it's gonna be so so perfect in the summertime so I ended up getting two of this one in my size of four Plus, I got two sizes bigger because I don't like things that are too tight on me. I like things that are like very like loose. So I'm thinking I'll wear my regular size at night because I think it will be more kind of like a dinner date kind of like dress at night. And then the other one I wear during the day when I'm on vacation or just summer in the city really. If you are very busty, I must say you are going to have some trouble because your bits are going to be out. But what I do is I use a safety pin to put around it and uh, that secures it and it looks fine so I like this so much I also got the I also got the blouse version I love a good blouse I think they look perfect um, to wear with all your pins or skirts shorts anything really so I think I could wear this with my um, significant other shorts. I love, love this blouse. It's literally the same thing as this dress but in the blouse form. Juicy again. I got, I think they make the best Zimmerman dupes. So if you guys know, Zimmerman had these shorts I think back in 2018 and they were like $375 for these shorts but Juicy have the dupe. They're sold out now. Zimmerman doesn't have the new one, but they do have a new version. So if you want the new version, check it out. It's very, very pretty. I'm thinking about getting them. I, I really, really love this. It's like an eyelid short. I wear, I like to wear this in the house. This is kind of like my little house short. If I am going downstairs to throw out the garbage, you know, I still need to look cute and stuff. So I like to wear these, um, this one around. This is a size four. That same Japanese dress, they also had it in blue. So I thought I would get the blue as well. I love this. It's so, so nice. I cannot wait. I think this kind of like stripy blue will look very good with my Hermes sandals. So I can't wait to wear those together. Another dress from Choosy is this like super, super girly, like flirty dress. It's kind of like off the shoulder, but I still have a spaghetti strap here and an off shoulder. And then I'm going to be trying everything. Blue is really not my color, but I thought this summer I want to explore a little bit more and just wear this. I think this one will look fine on me. And Choosy, of course, has this beautiful satin white dress but this one is longer when i saw this i loved it immediately i thought i need to have it because it's like so perfect sometimes i feel like i need to i mean i dress up every day but i feel like i am chic but kind of like a little bit casual and kind of like effortless but i feel sometimes i need to take it up a notch um and when i saw this one in the satin color it's kind of like the same style as the other one and I thought I had to have it and it has this kind of like crisscross 
split in the front for me um i love white dresses it's like my favorite thing to wear in the summertime because it's effortless it's chic it doesn't matter what you're wearing like as long as it's a light mess of a white dress you are good to go so this i had to have it and i love that it's kind of like a it's not satin i know for sure this is a polyester that looks like a satin but it's still a very good quality that's what i like about this stuff even though it's kind of like those designer dupes but they're still very very good quality i love this one this i also got in a size four here yeah. let's move on to asos for a second so last year last year for my trip to mexico I bought this green dress. I loved it. It was so pretty. But then again, that's the thing about me. I just get bored of things really fast and then I give them away and then two months later and I'm like, I want this. So, <laughs> so I give it away because I was like, oh, this is too girly, blah, blah, blah. And then the other day I was browsing ASOS and I saw the same dress. It was in sale. I was like, oh my God, I want this dress again. So. <laughs> They were sold out of my size, which is a four, but I ended up getting the six. It fits me fine, and it does have a belt, so it's perfect. Uh, but look at this print, guys. It's so pretty. It's like the most beautiful little green um, number. I don't know what flowers are these, but it's just like so, so pretty. And if you have a larger bust, I think this dress is very, very flattering on us, obviously because it is V-neck style. And also have these wishing detail along the bridge area. It's very, very, very pretty. It is a little bit short right above my knee, but I love it. Uh, sometimes I do need to wear some some shorter dresses. Also from ASOS, I was browsing and then I saw this eyelet. As you can see, I love eyelet. I love lace. Um, when I saw this dress, I know I had to have it because I don't really have anything in this color. This is kind of like a salmon kind of like a peachy color. I love it. Again, being a detail, this has button going all the way down. I really wish the button was for decoration. It had like a zipper on the side, on the side or something, which would made it a lot easier to put on. The button is very, very annoying. Um, undoing all these buttons and putting it back together. Um, this fits me perfectly. Um, if I gain like five pounds, I don't know. I think it might be a tiny bit tight. But other than that, this fits perfectly. And this is a meaty dress. I love it so much. Oh, look, it matches my Tiki's um, sandals. I just sent me these the other day. And look, it's like the perfect color. As you can see, a lot of dresses. From ASOS, I got a few bras, like this one that I'm wearing underneath. I don't really recommend that one, it's not that comfortable. But I do recommend this one. If you are heavy breasted like myself and it's hard for you to find bras, I would definitely recommend ASOS. They do have some options for us and they're not like crazy expensive like the other stores are. And I've been wanting, well, I've been needing a strapless bra that was in kind of like a nude color because sometimes when I wear white dresses, when I wear my black one, it kind of looks a little bit too harsh with it. So I needed one in this nude color, so I found this. It fits perfectly. Um, I would say try to go two sizes up, so that way you have the extra space. So I got a 30J. I am a 30H, so I got a 30J just so I could have the extra space. And it also does come with a strap, so if you want to wear the strap, you could do that as well. So if this is not um, sold out, I will leave it in the link below for my heavy breasted ladies. Another thing that I've been wanting, because now since I'm home all the time, um, and if you know for us, we can't really be, well, we can be in a house without bras, but if you want to get up and put some clothes on, it's just not going to look good without a bra. So I've been wanting like a soft bra to wear in the house. And then I found this one from ASOS. It's so cute and it fits perfectly. I would say for the soft bras, try to go a little bit bigger as well. So I got a 30J just to make sure I have extra space. And these fit so nicely. 
And obviously, if you're trying to like run or bend down, your boobs are going to fall out a little bit. But other than that, they're very good, good support. But at the same time, it doesn't have the wire that's going to poke you like the bras that we typically wear every day when we have to go outside. So I love this so much that I also got it. I got two of these. Um, just in case because that is one thing now when I find something that I really like I just buy it back up because you never know another thing that I will show you are these beautiful earrings from Majuri I will leave the link below these are the large pearl hoops and they are so fab I just love them so much they're like so so pretty my message ladies, this haul is all about being the ultimate girl, the ultimate feminine girl. When I saw this dress, this is a Zimmerman dupe from a brand called Farrell. It's sold on knitsupply.com. I don't know if you guys are familiar, you should familiarize yourself with it. It has a lot of cool brands. The only thing is, the models look terrible. I just don't understand who's styling these models. Like, they all look so dead. It's like... If you don't have any idea on how to style things, it's probably not the website to shop from because you will not see the vision on how something can look cute, to be quite honest, because the models just look too terrible. If I had, you know, relied on the model to buy this dress, sometimes I wonder if they even want to sell any of the stuff they have on the website. Because I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. But I will happily try this on for you ladies so you can see what it looks like. And then I will leave the link below. I think it's already sold out, so sorry about that. I'll see if I can find something similar to link. This is not size medium. When I saw this dress, like the first time I saw it, I knew it was going to be mine. But um, I wanted to wait until it was on sale for me to buy it. And it went on sale. I don't remember. I don't even remember how much I paid for this. But when I saw it, I was like, oh my god. Like, I have to have this dress. It's like the ultimate dreamy dress. Like, I can see myself wearing this somewhere. In Provence, like in the lavender field, or I don't know, just walking the streets of I don't know, France or Italy somewhere. I just think this dress is just like so dreamy, so beautiful. Look at the flowers. Oh, I love it. Fina detail. It has button going all the way down. Let's see if it has a zipper. Oh, and it has pockets. Who doesn't love? A dress without pockets right you know we live for the pockets girls oh it has a zipper in the back so it's very very easy you don't have to sit here to try to like unbutton so these buttons are only for decoration i i just love this dress so much like it's so so dreamy i love it and I've been looking for the perfect polka dot dress to wear because I want to recreate pretty women. Uh, um, pretty women, I want to recreate a picture in a polka dot dress. And um, this one is not quite the same one, but it doesn't necessarily have to look the exact same. When I saw this polka dot dress, I had to have it. It's so, so perfect. And the back has this kind of like whooshing, so it has a lot of give. It's very forgiving. So I would say get your normal size for this one because it's stretchy. I got a small, um, this is called the gender polka dot dress. I got this from Nostrum, I believe, and it also has this beautiful slit in the front and it just looks so, so chic. And I bought a hat specifically. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, there's a hat over there that goes with this dress specifically. The French Connection kindly sent me a few pieces. And when I saw this dress, I had to have it. Uh, look at the print on this. It's so, so perfect. Again, V-neck detail. If you ladies know, if you are big chested, big busted, whatever it is, you know V-neck is the most flattering on us. So try to get pretty much everything in V-neck style if you can. And then I also have a long slit on the bottom. Um, I love it. I love the yellow detail. You guys know I don't go crazy for color, but when I do, yellow is typically the color that I go for and then now I'm going to be wearing a lot more color not something crazy but I'll be wearing some prints things are like very girly and dreamy and pretty so I'm very very excited to wear this dress I cannot I cannot wait Ugh, it looks so cute I was looking at myself in the mirror but it looks so cute guys speaking of not buying pants anymore um Although I won't be wearing um, much pants anymore, 
I so wanted a good pair of linen pens, like stripped sort of linen pens to wear in the summertime for that one day where I feel like to wear a pants on with a nice little top like this in the oatmeal color. So I saw this picture on Pinterest, I saved it, and then I sent Manuel a text. I told Manuel, if you see these pens, keep an eye out because I know Manuel shops a lot or she's always on the website because that was before you know the whole thing happened when uh because i didn't have time before to shop online because i'm always like working busy and stuff like that so i told her to keep that keep an eye out for me if she see these pens to send me the link let me know so i can buy them so that went on for like a whole week and then one day i walked into in order stories guess what was there the exact same. I will insert the picture um, that I found, and then and then I will insert me wearing these on the side so you guys can see. They're like almost the same exact pants, and it is in the color that I wanted it in the oatmeal color. And the last one that was left in the store was my size. And when I looked online, it was already sold out. So I'm sorry that you can't get your hand on these pens. I will try to find something similar but to be quite honest everything that was similar was like designer and they were like over $300 which I didn't think it was worth it but actually it is worth it if you want to spend that kind of money but still it was still 90 bucks for this but I think it's very worth it because in order store we have very very good quality pieces I, I really really love this I I love this. I can't wait to sell this for you guys. Oh my god. My eye. Let's move on to Jehu now. From Jehu, I only got two things. Well, I got four things, but I'm not going to show you the other. I'm not going to show you the other stuff. It's not. I won't be able to wear it until next winter anyway, so. When I saw this kind of like silky, satiny blouse, I had to have it. It is my favorite kind of like mustardy yellow. And it has a button detail on the sleeves and also in the front. This I should have gotten a size 2. This is a size 4. It runs big. So if you can still find this, I would say get your regular size or size down because it's really big. But I didn't mind it. I think it was like final sale. I couldn't return it or anything. But I don't mind it. I could get away with it. But when I saw this blouse, I had to have it. Oh, it's so, so pretty. And I'm going to try this on. I'm probably going to wear it with the with the linen pants. And also from Need Supply, I got this beautiful, beautiful lace blouse. This is a high neck. I know I told you guys if you are heavy breasted to stay away from high neck, but I think sometimes you still need um, some high neck tops. I just wanted like a top for when I want to take some pictures of me you know when you just want to take a picture of your top, kind of like sitting at a restaurant, drinking coffee, and you want a blouse with some beautiful, beautiful detail on it. Um, so that's what I had in mind when I bought this, and it's so, so pretty. I, I love it. It's very soft, very feminine. I love this blouse so much. I don't know if they still have it. Again, this one, I bought this probably back in February. Um, I will link it below if I can find it, but... It's so, so pretty. I love this blouse so much. Oh, the other thing that I get from J2, I've just been obsessed with um, lemon printed everything. Like lemon printed plates are like my favorite ones. Uh, if I could show you right now, I have a meeting in one of them. But I want, I just ordered a dress, so that's going to be featured in my next haul. Um, but I wanted it also in a scarf for when I am wearing kind of like a basket bag and I want a little scarf to just wrap around it. Um, I thought I would get this one. This is from Crew. It's so pretty. Look at this. Isn't this the cutest scarf you've ever seen? I love this scarf so much. And I love that it's on both sides. I mean, obviously, one side is supposed to be the one that's out. But the other one, um, you can wear it both sides. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Because I hate when you buy those scarves where it's only one side. And it's really hard um, to wear them sometimes. I really, really love this. So I may wear it with my lemon printed dress. I don't know if that would be too much. But I could probably just swap this. Why do I mind? Hmm, I kind of like it. It looks super cute. 
for candles, you're seeing these candles all over Instagram and Pinterest because they're like so beautiful, they're very aesthetically pleasing for all your flat lays. Flat lays are not big anymore, but I still love a good flat lay. When I saw this, I'm like, I had to have it. I didn't care how this candle smelled. I just wanted, I just wanted the <laughs> the beautiful pink vase. But I must say, this smells wonderful. It's kind of like very fresh, very girly. <sighs> I just love it. I have not, I stopped burning it because it's too pretty to burn. I just like keep it as, um, you know, as something to just look at. Decorative time, I wanted to show you my birthday shoes. When I saw these shoes, I know I had to have them, even though I wasn't going anywhere outside for my birthday, but I knew I wanted these. These are from LPA, I would say. Um, typically, when it comes to mules, anything where the back is open, always go half a size bigger so you can have the extra space. But these shoes are the only shoes, I would say, you could get your normal size. I don't think, I think they sold out by now. But I would say LPA runs really large. Get your regular size. But even then, I don't mind my feet. I don't mind the extra space in the back. They, they are so beautiful. They're like blush pink. So girly. So sexy. I love these shoes so much. I cannot wait to wear these a lot more. Oh, I can wear it with that pink dress, right? So I'm just going to include the shoes. Why not? Since we're already here. Might as well. So the lobby team at Vince Kamuto sent me some shoes. Um, that was an easy one because Vince Kamuto shoes are one of my favorite shoes. When I go to Macy's, that's the brand I always look for because I know he makes beautiful shoes. Is he? I think so. They did a collaboration with Louisa C. Okay, these shoes are quite beautiful. Oh, look at this, baby. This is a blush pink color. I don't remember the name. I have all the boxes here. So I'll put the name in the screen uh, so you guys can check them out if you want to. This, I would say, go half a size bigger. I took a six and my feet is like hanging out just a little bit. It says it's like a 36, 36 and a half. I don't know. But I don't mind anyways. And I really love this kind of like clear detail on the top here. This is looking at my face, yeah. It's so beautiful. Like if you want like the perfect pink little shoes to wear with all your beautiful dresses, I would definitely say go for these mules. They are quite beautiful. These from Vince Camuto are kind of like very similar. These are more dressy and if you want kind of like a casual version, I would say go for this one. How pretty are these? And look at the heel. It all in the detail. Look at this. So gorgeous. I love, love these so much. And I love a good strappy sandals for the summertime because they always make your feet look so sexy. Um, although this is not like the sexiest color but it's still a very um, beautiful color and it's kind of like the color that I've been loving for spring summer like this light green pastel green or I would say lilac I'm obsessed with lilac although I haven't bought anything in the lilac color I am looking haven't found anything yet that spoke to me but when I saw these I had to have them they were so the last pair which is probably my favorite because if you guys know me you know this is me in a shoe like this is it this is it look at the heel and in the color it's everything and if you want a sexy shoe to wear during the day in the summertime i think these shoes fit the bill they are just like so perfect this is again louisa c um with vince camuto i love these so much they're so perfect they're so sexy they elongate your feet they kind of like the same color as my skin tone i love wearing skin tone shoes because it always elongate your um, legs it just makes them look so sexy so i really really love these the tiki's sent me these beautiful chancletas sandals i really really love these because i wanted like a nude pair that was chic enough for when i am at the beach or if i'm not going anywhere far that i can wear even in the house 
So when they reached out to me to pick out a pair, I, I knew instantly I wanted one. I didn't even know this brand existed. If I had known, I would have ordered a pair from them before. I really, really love this. I think I picked the one color. I think I wanted a color that was more similar to my skin tone, but that's okay. I can order a pair on my own. I really, really love this. I love these. All right, guys, I think this is it for my haul. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which piece was your favorite and what have you been buying during quarantine, if it's actually making you more of a shopaholic or if it's stopped you from shopping altogether. Thank you again so much, ladies, for watching this video. I will catch you on my next one. Bye-bye. One more thing. I did a collaboration with... DSW um, with the JLo shoes. These were the ones that I got, and oh my god, this is the ultimate JLo shoe with the mesh and with the strap in the back. These are so hot. Like, I love them so much. I am so so happy about these shoes. I think they're still available. I am going to link them below if you ladies want to check them out. Love.